This will be a tri-global technical video on converting a DXF to a shapefile utilizing Pathfinder Office. So to begin, you have to have a valid Pathfinder Office uh, license and have it open. Then we're going to go up to Utilities and utilize the Import Utility. Once we click Import, the uh, dialog comes up. Uh, we can select uh, the file that we want to import. You can see uh, it's already looking for a DXF. The reason it's looking for that is down here under the format. I have already have a sample DXF selected. Uh, you can choose to import DBFs, shapefiles. In the case of this, we're using a DXF. You probably want to make sure you have that selected before you hit browse. Um, once you have that selected, you can ensure that it has the correct coordinate system. It remembers it from the last time, so you can see mine is showing that it's a US state plane. Uh, so I know it's importing the correct format. However, I'm going to walk you through the properties so I can show you how to set this up if it's not set up right. Uh, I'll walk you through each of these tabs. The first is the data tab. We'll do a feature with data dictionary. Next is the legacy uh, tab. We want to make sure we detect the file type automatically. I find that's the easiest to use. Third is the most important, it's the coordinate system tab. Again, mine's already set up correctly because it remembered it from the last time uh, that I did this. But if it's not, you want to make sure you go and hit change here. We want to make sure this is set up correctly. Uh, it's important to note that not all DXF files are even going to be projected to real world coordinates. So you do have to understand your coordinate systems before doing this. Uh, once we hit change, it pulls up a dialog where I can select my system. I want to make sure I select a US state plane of 1983. Um, if you don't understand what the system is, you probably need to consult with somebody who does understand coordinate systems. But this is a very important thing. Next, we're going to select zone uh, and then datum. I'm in a Georgia West, and my datum is NAD 1983 CONUS, which stands for continental US. There's a lot of different datums, and again, you do have to understand datums. Make sure you match your datum to how the data was collected. Uh, I'm going to choose to use a mean C level. Uh, that's really irrelevant because most DXF files are going to be two dimensional. Uh, and then finally, most importantly, we want to select coordinate units. If the, you select feet instead of US survey feet for most state planes, this will be wrong. Feet is, are based on meters and a US survey feet is based on a chain or a mile. So there is going to be a rounding difference and if you choose the wrong one, it will be off by um, usually thousands of feet. So once you have that set up, you can confirm you're on your AutoCAD DXF, your correct coordinate system, and you're browsing to the correct DXF file. Once you're sure about that, the final step would be to choose your output file. We're going to create what Tremble calls an IMP. It's similar to an SSF file. You can put this anywhere you want, and it's going to create a default name. I like for organization to put it in the same place I'm importing from and give it a specific name. I'm just calling it Mike Example as you can see and putting it in my desktop. Once that's all set, all we have to do is hit OK. Once it imports, it imports that fast and we can go up to open and I can open up my import file. Once I open, if you have the map vis visible, you should be able to see the entire job and it should look very similar. What I think is the very important next step to make sure you imported correctly is click on a point that you can identify on like a Google Earth, something like that. Make sure the coordinates look correct. So you can see this is 34 degrees north, 83 degrees west. This was a file in Georgia. I can tell this is in the right place and it imported correctly. So match that coordinate up to, like I said, like a Google Earth or something. And that's going to ensure that you have your shapefile correct before you do anything else with it. And then next, we want to take it from that interchange format, send it out to our shapefile. So we're going to go and go to utilities export and then go down here, select shapefile as our export. Once again, just like on the import, you notice that it has my coordinate system from the last time I exported, so it remembered. It also remembered or, or knows that I probably want to export mic example, uh, .imp automatically because that's what I just imported. Uh, if it's not showing your selected files, you just browse for the, the .imp file that you want to export, which is why naming becomes important. Uh, once again, I'm going to hit properties and walk you through each of the tabs that are in here. But basically, once you've done this once and set it up, it'll be set up. So under data, really nothing important here. Uh, 
output I like to create a subfolder so that's just a personal choice attributes there's nothing that we're going to care about in this tab units again nothing we really care about for the purpose of this export position filter this is important see where down here where it says include non GNSS positions little checkbox uh, because this was imported from a CAD file and not from GPS if I don't include non GNSS positions it won't export anything so make sure that's checked finally coordinate system and this is the important thing this is where you want to make sure it's set up correctly I'm going to export the same thing I imported so I'm going to export a state plane just like I imported same problem with the coordinate units make sure you select those um, this is a useful tool if you wanted to convert from a state plane to a lat lawn or a state plane to a UTM or maybe even a one datum to another finally under the Esri shapefile tab there was nothing important so I hit OK I'm going to browse for where I want to export this and once I've done that I just hit OK and it exports it takes slightly longer to export than it did to import but still not bad and if I browse that folder there's my shapefiles uh, those are all projected again to state plane and you're done